How big of a smoker are you, marijuana-wise? How big of a smoker am I? Yeah. Um, I don't just smoke re repeatedly for no reason. Like, I like to get high, certain atmospheres or whatever. I smoke every day, though, but I just know people that just nonstop, back to back to back to back to back to back to back. I don't really, I don't smoke like that. When it comes to marijuana, and it's just marijuana you smoke? <laughs> what else was it? I mean, <laughs> some people smoke cigarettes? No, nah, I don't smoke Cigars? No, nah, I tried a cigar. I was just up in Cabo on a yacht, tried a cigar for the first time. But Didn't that's, like that's, it? Uh, anyway, I wouldn't like it. I don't, I don't really see the purpose of it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's tobacco. It's different between tobacco and marijuana. But, uh, yeah, that's all I smoke is weed. And there's other more intense things one can smoke. Never got that far. No, nah. no crack or no, 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 nothing like I that. I sold too much crack when I smoked that shit, man. Yeah, now, um, when it comes to smoking, uh, smoking marijuana can do different things for different people. Even mm -hmm. though you don't smoke, like, e every single moment of your, you know, day, yeah. what does it actually do for you specifically when you do do it? Uh... You know, it's, it me to me it give me like a mellow effect. You get what I'm saying? Just I begin I begin super high when I'm in the, in the studio working and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It like mellow me out. Like, Do you have a favorite strain to smoke? Right now, I've been off my own strain, the Killzone Gelato Five Nine. I like gelato though. I was fucking with the gelato 41, gelato 45. I like cookies too though, Kush. When it comes to having your own strain and you say you have your own strain, mm. is that something uh, maybe a, a, a somebody with a business idea brought to you and said, hey, we have this going on, we want to attach your name to it, make it your own strain? Or is that something you sought out to do it's yourself? something I brought to them. Yeah. Something I brought to them. Can you explain your strain? Um, I mean, if you, it's actually, it's like if you smoke, if you smoke gelato, like basically, I just put the number on it, the five nine, because I was smoking the gelato forty one and forty five. So, my, I, I'm like, man. Cause you know everything I do, I do for my like everything I do, I do for the hood. So like with even with the kill zone, that's the name of my, of my neighborhood. Ah, named Gelato Five Nine Five Nine. That's the the numbers for my hood. You get what I'm saying? So I just put that twist on it. But it's a strong designer gas. You get what I'm saying? Be having nigga high as shit though. Everybody been trying to get that shit in the bay. I said available at the green door though. When you smoke marijuana, how do you smoke it? I'm from East Oakland. I still smoke Swishers, but I smoke backwards also. I don't really be tripping, but everybody from my neighborhood really still smokes Swishers. Do you remember the first time you ever smoked marijuana? Mm-mm. First time you ever got high from marijuana. Don't remember. I don't remember like how old I was. I remember what happened. I was hella high when my little cousin uh, locked the door, <laughs> went to sleep and woke up. Like I, like I was too high. You got high the first time you actually smoked? Because some people don't. They don't do it yeah, properly. Yeah, they I, smoked the I first was high time. shit because it was just like one blunt, like he was blowing. He was blowing, so I was high as shit. I was just kind of paranoid, like, when a little cuz wanted to lock the door. Do you remember what strain it was at mm -mm. that moment? Mm -mm. It probably was some purple or some light. You know, this, this was a long time ago. Probably was some purple or some light, something like that. Now, here's the interesting thing that I'm curious about. When you did get high for the first time, yeah. uh, and what you recollect, you had that paranoid feeling. Yeah. Why? smoke again 
Because who, who wants to have a paranoid feeling? Why smoke again when you did experience that? I think that, that was just like a first, like a, like a first time experience. I, it didn't happen after that. I think that was just like the first time. Mm. It wasn't like every time you get high, you get paranoid. Because I'd be high as shit. I'd have been high as shit in Detroit. All my jury on, you know, sleep on the couch in the studio around all type of niggas. You get what I'm saying? So I think that was just like the first time. Are you addicted to marijuana? Addicted? Nah. I'm not addicted to nothing but getting money. Period. Even though you smoke every day, not addicted? Mm -mm. Somebody because might if say I go to jail, I won't be able to smoke. You get what I'm saying? Mm -mm. So I ain't addicted to it. It's been times in there you don't get a lot of shit that you do when you out. So, and I ain't lose my mind and go crazy without it. So I ain't addicted to it. Ever tried to quit or stop? We? Yeah. Nah. Never tried. I just try, I just I just stopped sipping syrup though. You did quit that? Yeah, like two months ago. Curious why. Just over it. It wasn't for me. Uh, grew out of it. When it comes to marijuana, yeah, that can be an expensive habit for some people. Mm -hmm. Is that a, an expensive habit for you? Mm -mm. No, nah, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't an expensive habit. Like we, like niggas, will give you weed. Like, well, maybe you because of yeah, who you are so and your different. status like, now. At I'm this on point. shit though too though, but niggas give the nigga weed like. I done been in Fred, not nah, Fred, no, Reno. Coming from Reno in the snow in a Maserati, they got me putting chains on my car, snowing. Me and my cousin, somebody in the snow looking like, that filthy? Are we fuck with you in Fred's? No. You know, <laughs> give me like two zips of weed, like just to show love, like type shit, like, you know what I'm saying? So, weed is like, like, it don't even cost the same like how it used to cost back in the day. Like, that, nigga, like, like we, like, the first thing you do when you get with a bitch, like, niggas just give the bitch a smoke. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit ain't, ain't, that shit ain't nothing. When do you think you probably started getting uh, free weed? Was it a certain point in your career or certain status you achieved that it, this just, it's just coming nonstop at this point? When I just started getting free weed, I mean, it ain't like an everyday thing, but it's just, it has happened. But, I mean, you know, shit grow, with your, shit grow with your popularity. You know what I'm saying? Like, you put your, like, I went to, I had a show at a, like, a cannabis club. And it was, like, all different people in there, like, you know, broadcasting their weed or whatever, and stranded and shit. And it was just, and it just passed me that shit. You get what I'm saying? So, I don't think it's just really about, you know, about who you are. I just think, you know, in certain situations, certain atmosphere, when you're around shit like that, people look out for you. I ain't got free jury before. <laughs> like, come on, like, people, it's, it's all type of branding shit. Like, you know, to, 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 to um, you know, to push what they got going on. Like, hey, I'm gonna give you this, do this for me. I'm gonna mm. do this, do that for me. Like, not nothing big, though, a little shit here and there or whatever, so. Must feel good. Yeah, all right. Like I had to find out, like even with the clubs, the clubs when niggas be talking about, yeah, I went in the club and threw thirty thousand. Like I know street niggas off the corner that's doing that, but not like rappers. Cause I done been with rappers before, and they got like ten thousand on the couch, and we grab some stacks, and we walk over here, and I'm like, bro, what's up the bread? And like. They gave me the money to throw. Like, they're not going to steal it, but I'm not knowing that. You get what I'm saying? I didn't know that. I'm, I just think, think the nigga just forgot, a, forgot his money. So I'm like, oh, that's supposed to be going on? They be giving me all the money to throw this shit? I thought that niggas really be coming out their pocket throwing this shit. I'm like, oh, okay. Niggas been doing a whole lot of faking. You get what I'm saying? But I know, I'm, it's, I'm not talking about the street niggas that's coming off the corner, the dope boys, the trap niggas. Them niggas going crazy because they think the rapper's going crazy. Nigga, the club is going crazy. That's who's going. They're giving the rappers the money. The money's being thrown and it's being recycled. But it got all of you guys throwing y'all money and that's where they profiting off. Yeah, I had to find that shit out later. 
what'd you think when you found out? I'm like, oh, it's all type of little tricks and <laughs> crazy and this shit. Like, I ain't know. I'm like, that's crazy. 